pieces, yeah. What the fuck is that? Back round. Back round. Back oh, round. oh, I thought it was like, you know, do you have round blinds? Yeah, round back, yes. <laughs> back round. Alright, it's here, I feel certain it's out. Touch with both what you would do. Am I, I, dog, am dog, I? Dogs, 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 Tell me, what, what would you like to hear from them? Like I would like to hear uh, your two characters, Dr. Wolf. My name's Fly, and I still look like this, which is some kind of nice dog's face dog, would you like? Sure, like I'm fine, dog. Well, he is not a wolf, I'm not mistaken for a wolf. How old are you? They are like one year and six months old! Okay. Uh, and a female, in case you couldn't tell. Uh, okay, you couldn't tell either. Uh, I guess I'm a spotted border collie, but mm -hmm. okay. And I'm crushing on Slayton. So I don't know what you dog named Slayton. But these, maybe later. Uh, I'm not keeping my options open. Right. My dog Aces is very nice. Very nice. Playful. <laughs> so they can. Oh, it's very nice. Very nice. Now, and I've got my round back. Yes. Yeah. So they're the talking about the like, for her age section. She was a puppy. She was the last one to get picked for the litter. But that was a good one with a kiddo mom and dad. Okay. She's a now, the front of the leader. She's the bottom yeah. of the cup. <laughs> Yeah, here is a... Uh, uh, that's the first one over there. No, there's the... Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, yeah, I, sorry, you're right. She's the one of the leader's man. <laughs> uh, now Spike, and here's a picture of a dog with a big uh, water, so watermark under his eye. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so, it looks, so it looks like a watermark. Uh, he is two year. His, his gender is play. <laughs> the breed is rotty. It's a crush. All the female dogs in the RP, they are all cute. May decide which one to go with later in the RP. May decide. Yeah, I, I haven't decided yet. <laughs> Puppies, maybe. Give us a table that won't use the word bitches. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bitches, the RP is a ho! How I aces. I am kind to the ones he loved and mean to the other people and dogs. A background. Parents went in dog fights, mom gave birth to four puppies, Spike was kind one. Found a family with a dad and kid. That's all I got. I'm done now. Go, 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 this Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Right now it's taking place at a secret agent headquarters. Yeah, it's okay. getting there. Right. It's happening. It should, pick up, it should pick up here on this page, though. Uh, uh, John, you're gonna be uh, Kyla with this, in this series of nonsense. Oh, Jesus Christ! How do I pronounce the space between every one of the in my name? Jeez, <laughs> uh, <laughs> stop. Hey, stop. Oh, yeah, I can tell you. Yeah, all right. Am Lewis, A M D, you are. He asked, he wasn't the loving kind of dog, he just needed friends. Wow! That's the story, that's part of the story right there. <clears throat> Rosie looked at him. I, I'm Rosie, the shy Fay replied. God damn it. No, it's a Fay dog. <laughs> Secret <laughs> agent, Fay dog. Christ. No. And Lewis saw his sister leave, he nod at the Fay. <laughs> and it's Fay. I'm sorry, no color. <laughs> oh, Rosie said. I'm too busy to color my right yeah. face. Yeah, that's pretty. I'm not telling you, sorry I am. Rosie said, oh, uh, well, it was nice meeting you. The Fay said kindly. But I think I'll just go to the pond. There are some ducks over there. She then walked away. <laughs> so now we're at a pond. Well, if gotta go to my. <laughs> this RP's going places. Yeah, they they stayed up his leg in the pond, keeping cool. His thick fur and he overheated quickly. He glanced up to see Rosie. His gaze followed her as she tried to pass. He sat up slowly and barked a greeting. That's certainly something a dog would do. Hey, there's something wrong with that. There wasn't a typo or anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. I right. Really notice. Rosie jammed at the bark. Even she yipped, jumping back. <laughs> she then looked over at Slayton. Oh, phew. I thought you were something else, she said. I'm Rosie. You? Spike locked up from the lake because he thought he heard something. He was right. It was Buddy. He got into uh, attack form. He was thinking if he could get the Buddy, and he would impress the girl he is with. He chased it for a bit, but he triped on a rock. The Buddy got away. <laughs> he hit his paw hard on the down. It hurt, but he had to keep a call for the ladies. He went back over to the lake with a nice spirit on his face. <laughs> no, I really appreciate talking about Wolf. I mean, nothing, still nothing happens in that person's post, but at least they spice it up with some really good time. Yeah. <laughs> Willow lay down away from everyone else inside, turning her head away from Spike. Show Kiff for the girl how funny. She smirked, seeing the bunny the Dalmatian raised off. He turned and went into a hole. The determined Dalmatian sneak in to dig a hole, but it went out. Another she chased it and pounced on it, snapping its neck. She took it back and dropped it in front of Spike. You need to learn to watch where you're running if you're going to catch anything, she smirked. Yeah, but kind of like a fall on my head. Spike said, grinning and looking into her eyes while tilting get his head slightly. Come on, that's not healthy. Oh, well, then we should not tell the wrong head. Yes, yes, yes. The, the, the very last post right here is the uh, Azer's neck post. Somebody please reply. Somebody please reply. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's, where, that's where it actually starts to occur to Dr. Wolf that, like, maybe a story about a bunch of dogs being taught us might have to be a little bit different. That's what you think. I'm to make a different life having to do Having proper conversations. I've got to be a dog. You know, I'm here to have to I just have to find I go find something else to snap. <laughs> I, I think they really had something of an old secret agent taking this thing, but yeah. yeah it's just what? whenever Toxic Wolf was up the bat, he just fucking scene changed. <laughs> and then everybody else had to be like, oh, okay, we're, we're over here now. We just keep less than 10 posts in the middle of that. We <laughs> have the back of the lake. <laughs> so okay. Everybody else is in the lake, and I want role plays where they can be a dog, so alright, I'll find yeah, some I, I see that as a really passive aggressive move. Somebody, somebody in the group's like, oh, man, they're secret agents now. Toxic Wolf's like, no, they go to a con because they're dogs, that's what this is about. <laughs> their, mission, their mission is frisbee. <laughs> yeah, I, I, really, I really like the subtle uh, subtext of the power play in this RP. The meta story is funny. Yeah. <sighs> so, messed up! I want you here! In my room! I want you. And there we go! Around right about an hour of full new life for people that don't have one!
Oh, uh, that was sarcastic. <laughs> no, that looks really good on you, blood. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying to learn more about your trip to Paris. Do <laughs> you have slides to show? Excuse me, but what the good is all the violence in the world? I love to give temperament with limitless sex. is, I'm not actually sure what the definition 
is. Yeah, I think explicitly going out and picking up women using pickup and seduction techniques. Yeah. So this is this is a story of this is a story of Sarging uh, gone wrong. <laughs> two days of Sarging didn't go too well. Field report: Two days of Sarging. Day one was a music event. There wasn't many people there, and this was my first real time Sarging. I opened the two set with, "Hey guy, I need a female opinion." I stacked all my routines and has a great 20-minute conversation. I didn't attempt A2 or A3 as I was just practicing an opening in A1. Sure, you wouldn't want to, you know, get ahead. Yeah, yeah, you gotta, gotta get A1 down. Right. You gotta A1 before you can A2. You gotta level up. <laughs> Dang! A2 this is, is a, kind of big, what? It's a steak sauce, though, right? A1. Yeah, he was practicing an opening A1. Sometimes, like, the steak sauce would stick, so you can't really, like, open it. It gets crusted around the cap. Yeah. Nice. Nothing ruins a pickup. The steak sauce comes nice. out too soon. I think it kind of ruins everything. Yeah, nothing, nothing, nothing ruins a pickup like trying to ask for help opening the bottle. <laughs> you can't have barbecue man pop without the barbecue sauce. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> Day two was at a fair. I made two approaches. Approach number one. Smooth. Hey, can I have a female opinion, please? HB. Okay. Crossed arms, giving me a fuck off look. Smooth. Well, me and my friends are having this debate. Who lies more, guys or girls? HB, guys, still giving me nothing. Smooth. Oh, really? Why? HB, because guys are dicks. <laughs> Smooth. Okay, then. By this time, I lost all confidence and was getting pissed off with, with the power of her bitch shield. <laughs> because it's saying, seriously, fuck off. See ya. And I walked off. I approached over my shoulder. I don't think I smiled, and I looked and was very nervous. This may be why. You approached over your shoulder? <laughs> <laughs> At least you're acrobatic. <laughs> I don't even know how that would work. His smooth phasers were no match for her bitch shield. <laughs> Approach to smooth. Nice big smile walking past two set of HBs. Must have been 8.5 slash 9s. I had good body language and said, Hey, can I have a female opinion, please? HB1 looks the other way. HB2. Erm. Um, nah. And we walked off very quickly. I think this was it being shy and yeah, hurt. It was not a good experience. It took a great back and so, The Advice would be appreciated. So they like, run away, and one of them says, "Go!" No. And it's like, "Oh, they're shy." <laughs> they're not completely creeped out. They can't handle my masculinity. Because he walked up backwards, looking over his shoulder. He approached from over his shoulder. Maybe thinking like a video game, like third person view. Right. What's that move from uh, the Ninja Guy in arcade game where you can jump up and do a flip and then you grab them by the head and then toss them? Oh, yeah. Well, he saw something that was throwing him at the ladies, which is why he's more fairly receptive. I use that move all the time at the club. Exactly. <laughs> okay, this is Clutch. Well, I see what you did wrong, but don't let it be a blow to your confidence. First off, uh, I'm not sure about the first set of babes. What was their HB rating? But you said the second sex of chicks were eight or nines? That means pretty friggin' attractive. Now, <laughs> now let's look at what type of openers you used. You used opinion openers, which would work very, very well for HB 1 through 7. However... <laughs> <laughs> can, I, can I pause just to explain what HP is? It's a hot, hot, hot bitch, also. Uh, oh, okay. And it's, it's followed by a number, which is the classic uh, girl rating between 1 and 10. And Although see, HBs have our minimum of 7 by their chart. Well, yeah, and you'll see that uh, pretty much in every every time someone refers to picking up an HB, they say 7. Uh, <laughs> and, and, and these, which probably means 4. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you don't want your fellow PUA thinking you're going after uh, lightweight stuff. Actually, no, I was reading threads where um, there were guys who were specifically trying to pick up HB, like, threes and fours to have practice. Uh, it really is like leveling up, isn't it? Man, I'm just <laughs> practicing. I'm you pick up the ugly chicks, and then you learn how to level up and pick up more people. I love that all, all these read like the StarCraft uh, FAQ. Yeah. yeah, they really do. Right. You can't give any advice if they just want the HB rating books. It's not like you were really creepy. It's, what was your HP rating? You have to be forgot to tell us. Well, yeah. you know, different enemies require different attacks. However, for HP 8s and above, they are used to guys coming up with gentle conversation opinion openers all the time. So with girls at this level, like no, HP and above, it. you need something a little spicy. No, I mean, you need a spicier intro for a spicier level of girl. <laughs> Next time, try a nig first off, or something really funny. Um, conversational opinion openers are good, but not for really hot girls. They need something with a bit more edge. They don't have opinions. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, if that first hot babe was wearing heels, you could have walked past her making no eye contact, and then suddenly looked at her like you just noticed her, and made a funny-slash-asshole comment about her. 
Funny <laughs> slash asshole. Now, for, for example, if she was wearing heels, you could say, so without those heels, what are you, like, two feet tall? <laughs> you know, oh, but, yeah. But keep up the sergeant, man. Nicks. So effective. Yeah. Nothing makes her chump her bones faster than telling her she's probably short. You use, you use lame joke. It's super effective. <laughs> you used insulting comment. She loves it. I think the idea yeah. is to uh, to lower their self esteem, to drop oh. into your standard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you thought you were too good for me. Turns out you're two feet tall. All right, day one. Okay, just because you don't know what to do, don't eject so fast. I'm gonna go through this also. What I'm gonna start doing is keeping the conversation going until I know that I need to eject. Place yourself in uncomfortable situations, otherwise it'll become harder for you to go past sticking points. Day two. Approach one. She gave you material to talk more. Call her out on being a bitch. Man, you seem so mean. But I know for a fact that you're a sincere individual. Every bitch has a little girl inside. Okay, approach two. Never ask. Hey, can I have a female opinion take? No. Let me get your guy's opinion. Yes. Hi, something that's been really bothering me. Go into opener. Okay, asking and saying please comes off as needy. <laughs> Tell him, bro. <laughs> Thank you so much, Bruce Bruce. Don't forget. Hey, don't forget to stop it. Actually, keep it fucking simple, stupid. Keep it fucking simple, stupid. Yeah, I like how that ruins the, the acronym of that. Yeah, and he needlessly complicated it with another word. Yeah, the first day on day one, it wasn't a problem of running out of material, but I got into the LJBF zone. In day two, I wish I caught that girl on her shit, because I would have really liked to see what happened. And the third approach, yeah, I think I fucked up because I opened with me like this. Yeah, so they, they were walking one way and I was walking the other. I would have gone slightly in front slash next to them. You blocked their path. So far, <laughs> smiley face. Just jump right in front of their way. Can I ask you guys a question? <laughs> <laughs> okay, with moving sets, you never approach while moving in the opposite direction. Their momentum alone will get you projected every time. Honestly, God, even I... <laughs> 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 object in motion will never fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, even I can only have success with sets moving in the other direction only maybe 5% of the time, and usually they're HB 7.5s, or less. Now, Clutch makes a strange point. HB 1 through 7 hook easy with opinion openers, but if you build social proof, HB's 8 will let you hook on that. It's much easier to hook 1 through 7, because they don't have the same, I get hit on every night mindset. <laughs> But it doesn't mean that the Turbo Hotties can't be hooked with opinion. <laughs> <laughs> turbo Hotties. Oh, no. There is a green, there is disagreement within the community. You just have to be very alpha with your approach and your body language. If you want to get the harder ones, open at least four sets prior to entering theirs. Build the social proof. As soon as you drop the opener, throw in the false high constraint and the back oh, yeah. Wait for the answer. Nag the target based on her answer. <laughs> Run a few routines, keep negging the target, then try to move the target away from the group, but keep it within the eyesight of the group. Run a couple DHV stories and routines, <laughs> over again, but somewhere further from the group. Remember, two moves equals a bounce. Oh, there should be a mnemonic for that. The story's like, yeah, so I got a really nice watch. I have a nice watch. Oh, I like your nice watch. Yeah, I bet you do, because you're a dumb bitch! <laughs> oh, that's, that's how you neg them, right? Nice. Yeah, that's a that's DHV good. canceled into a neg. For 33% chipping damage. <laughs> <laughs> did anybody read what Nedge or Nedge hit? Neg hit? Is I did. The, the, the it, it's what? exactly what Jim's uh, first uh, that was. It was yeah, you bust a girl down a little bit so that she, her self-esteem is not in a full-on defensive mode, I guess. Okay, okay. You, don't, you don't insult her then, you just insult her. Yeah, you don't insult her, you just are insulting to her. It's an implied insult, but it's not an, it's not an overt one. It's like they right. it's playing okay. here. Those are interesting nails. Are they real? It's really cute how your nose wiggles when you talk. Look, there it goes again, Chuckle. There's such a fine line between being a douchebag and an asshole. No, there's not. <laughs> you control us. So this is a this is a post by uh, Ezo. Um, it is entitled. Uh, oh, this is this is by the way from a forum called uh, Lay Reports, where uh, oh. members. Members of the seduction community will get laid, and then they immediately run home to the internet to write the story about how they got laid. <laughs> because they're not sad, is the point. They're um, probably in the bed on the laptop. <laughs> <laughs> Quickest F close ever. I haven't posted any of my field reports in a while and finally decided to share this one with you guys. You may call it an improvised game, freestyling, social proof, or whatever, but it was not, in fact, anything more than inner game that got me the girl. The facts. Ezo. HB8. Kiss close in 20 seconds. Full close in 3 minutes. 
scenario. Wait, wait. wait. Full, full close is full close is set, right? Yeah. Full close. Is that when he's finished? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yes. Because that's how fucking fast he is and how good he is at the game. All right. Scenario: A party. I knew a few people and I introduced them to each other. Center of attention. Social proof. Pre-selection. Opener. Hey, looks like your friend is having fun. Tell her to moan more. All right. Attraction phase. <laughs> None whatsoever. Just being cool. That's how high he leveled up. He doesn't need to do attraction things. It's a, it's a, he's got an envelope, like a little thing that he carries with him. Uh, comfort. None whatsoever. Just being dangerous and appearing safe enough because I have friends. That's not even a 50. This is, this is rape. This is... Oh, there's, 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 there's more rape later on. Um, seduction. <laughs> Grab her by the throat, pull her close, and kiss her. Escalation. Say, let's get some air. Get her alone. Push her down to penis level. Uh -huh. Oh my god, he raped her. <laughs> you know the rest. My point, inner game is so much more efficient than outer game will ever be. Ezo. Seduction. Grab her by the throat. Pull her close and kiss her. Escalation. Cops are called. Am arrested. <laughs> <laughs> the situation. Have found person. Have grabbed by throat by big man named Twitch. Push, Push down to the game. <laughs> I heard this technique from the guys on The Sopranos. <laughs> like I always say, which I prove to myself every time I'm out gaming, quote, PUAs make pickup much, much, much harder than it actually is, end quote. Cheers. Alright. I love this quote. Imagine memorizing every routine from the game or MM like some guys do. <laughs> what a waste of time. Good job, Ezo. Shock and awe with that much conversation. It just say you're a master's. Glasses face. TJ. <laughs> well, man, I'm not one of those sad souls. It wasn't a waste of time. I learned a lot when I used routines. It was the thing that got me out in the field. I used the routines and got good results. But after a while, I realized that by getting results, I got more confident. And after a long time, I could start dealing with my real issues. Why do you think Jake grow as a person? And wait, and not just overcompensating for my shortcomings as a person. <laughs> <laughs> That's real inner game. I'm not saying that this is the only way, but the routines were the things that made me dare to go out there. A while ago, they were my hidden weapons, just there if I ever needed to use them. Now, I mainly leave them at my home. Ezo. Woo! Amazing! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, right. I like to imagine the uh, the more you, the NBC the more you know sound playing after he says that's real inner game. <laughs> this is called pull girls with these seduction techniques to gain female attraction. There are ten steps, and I'm sure all of them guarantee complete success. <laughs> The basic model to pull girls in its simplest format is to...